Hi guys, myself Vijay Tawadhan and in this video lecture session I am going to show you a solution on projection of plane surfaces. And the example problem is like this. A pentagonal lamina of side 25 mm is having a side on both HP and VP. The corner opposite to the side on which it rests is 15 mm above HP. Draw the top and front views of the lamina. Now, one can start a construction like this, uh, make use of a line command with a thickness of 0 0.13 and draw an XY line and then make use of a text command, then mark the endpoints of this line as X and Y and mark above the XY line as VP and below the XY line as HP so that it is going to represent the first angle projections. And after which one has to complete the uh, construction of a pentagon. So for which go to applications, go to macro and then run macro and inside polygon. The inside polygon folder is available here in Windows C, C, uh, C drive, program file, solid edge V19, custom, inside polygon bin and then you will find a inside polygon macro. Just open it, then the inside polygon will be opening. Select the flat length and set the flat length radius, uh, flat length as 25 and the number of sides in the pentagon as 5. Click on the apply relationship and press the left click of the mouse anywhere on the screen. And after which the pentagon is going to be appeared whose thickness should be set for 0.5 millimeter. And since it is a side resting pentagon, so now the side resting pentagon is already obtained. Then make use of a smart dimension command, show that the size of the pentagon is 25 millimeter and then make use of a line command with respect to 0.13 draw the projectors from each and every corner till it touches the xy line to make sure that the front view has to be drawn here now after drawing these projectors then change the thickness of a line to 0.5 millimeter and draw these front view as a split lines to make sure that these projectors will be drawn very easily in the later stages so make use of a line command with the help of sorry make use of a text command and name the corners as this as a and this is going to be b this is going to be c d and this is going to be e accordingly here in the front view b dash as well as a dash and then c dash e dash and then finally d dash and after which the corner opposite to the resting edge on hp is 15 mm above hp now the resting edge in the after the rotation the resting edge will become b dash a dash and d dash is supposed to be at a height of 15 millimeter above the hp so for which one has to construct a, a constructional line at this height then make use of a distance between or a smart dimension whatever it may be then set that the height of this line is above the hp is 15 millimeter after setting thus select the front view completely in the first stage then go to move command move with respect to the end point b dash a dash and it has to be repositioned on the xy line with the help of point on element command then make use of arc by center point command and then b dash as the center d dash as the radius one has to draw an arc till it touches the 15 mm line once it is done and again select the front view and then go to rotate command make sure that the fixed point B and A is on the XY line and D dash is going to be shifted to the end point of an arc here so that the D dash is at a height of 15 millimeter. Then make use of an angle between command. One can measure this angle which is going to be the 23 degree. And after which make use of an angle command with respect, uh, with respect to XY uh, with respect to the thickness as 0.13 millimeter and draw the projectors of the top view. Now here uh, getting D dash that is from the right extreme corner and then C and D has to be projected here. Then one can project the C as well as C. So one can project the E also. And after which the AB is remaining, get the positions of A and B. So B is connected and then connect back to the A. Then make use of the text command and name the respective corners as A, B, C, D, E. Now this corner is going to be A and this is going to be B. This is going to be C, D and then E. Now 
using the line command with a thickness of 0.5 millimeter join the a b c d e that is the top view of a pentagonal lamina when it is when the opposite corner is at a height of 15 mm above hp now the top view has been completed and the next <coughs> One of the side is on both HP and VP. One side is on HP is completed. Now it is perpendicular to VP as well as in front of VP. This line AB has to be rotated in such a way that the line AB is on the XY line and become parallel. So then the condition the HP and VP is going to be satisfied. For which one has to select the top view and then make use of a move command. Move with respect to A. A has to be positioned on the XY line and then go for rotate command and then select A as a fixed point and then B as the rotating point rotate it in such a way that AB will be on the XY line after this rotation bring down the A and B lines below A and B text below the XY line and then make use of a line command with a thickness of 0.13 with respect to the right extreme corner start drawing the projectors now e will be connected to e along with e we have c so let me connect c also and then the next extreme corner a and b are already on the xy line and the remaining point is going to be the corner d so connect corner d to d then make use of uh, a text command name the respective corners and the respective corners this is going to be the a dash and this point is going to be the b dash and here this point is going to be C dash and this is going to be D dash and finally this is going to be A dash then make use of a line command with the help of 0.5 mm thick join A dash to B dash and then B dash to C dash C dash to D dash D dash to E dash back to A dash now by this the problem is completed in all aspects and if you are having, uh, having any doubts too uh, attend this problem please feel free to call me at this number provided thank you for watching my video and also please do subscribe to my youtube channel and also kindly share this video to all your first year engineering students so that it will give me an encouragement to create more and more videos thank you guys thank you once again for watching my video